Hi bug! Welcome back to my channel. So today I figured I would do something a little inspirational. I mean, I mean, I guess it's inspirational. So as it is almost March, it seems like we will be in this panini for a lot longer than expected. And that can be really difficult because it's a lot of isolation, there's a lot of fear, there's just a lot going on in everyone's lives that just makes it really difficult to continue living and just to stick with it. So today I'm going to share with you guys my techniques on how to stay motivated. So these aren't like whoa, that's a whole new technique. I've never heard of it before. These are probably techniques you've probably heard about before, but I'm gonna share with you how I do it specifically because like me, I struggle with motivation all the time. I am a sometimes a very lazy person. I procrastinate. I, I'm human, okay? Jeez, I make myself sound like a monster sometimes. <laughs> I will kind of mention some of the same things as my um, how to get school done in three days video because those are some of the same techniques I use to stay motivated in my everyday life. So since I already have a video on that, I'm going to specifically focus on like things that don't revolve around like school and schoolwork. So if you are in school, just imagine it's the weekend. <laughs> I'm going to set this up as if you are in a very big slump and you have no starting ground. Like you can't even get up in bed. So my first step for you to get motivated, like to actually get started, is you're gonna want to set an alarm. And I know alarms don't work for me, they don't work for me at all. But if I have something that goes off at a specific time every single day, that gives me a sense of normalcy and gives me a sense that, oh, it's a new day. Cause like, it's hard to keep track of the days. I like, I, I, I don't, what is today actually? Um, I don't know. Wait, that's scary. It's Saturday. Okay, so you want to have something that is going to like get you going. It doesn't have to wake you up, but like it should be something that's like, hey, reminder, you're still living. It's still a good life. Wake up do something. So I have my alarm set in the morning because I try to do it as a morning alarm, but obviously it doesn't work because I sleep in till forever. But <laughs> that is my alarm. And like, sometimes I do wake up with it and that's like great motivation. Just like, ah, 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 mm, 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 mm. yikes. <laughs> so you want to have something that is going to set a schedule for you. So it can be your alarm, you can like have a certain show, you can have a certain activity. Like if it's school, school starts on a Monday. So every Monday that's like, I'm starting a new week. So something that's gonna set normalcy for you so that will get you out of a slump of like monotonous days. Monotonous, monotonous, monotonous. How do you guys say it? And I don't know how to say it. Not everyone is back to normal day life and not everyone can go back to normal day life. So you want to make this right here your norm. You don't want to put your life on hold. That has been my biggest struggle. It's like, oh, I can't do anything. I'm in a panini. Uh, you know what I'm calling them, a panini, by the way. So you want to keep moving forward in your life. So if you set new schedules, that will help you move forward in your life. Okay, so once you have like uh, an alarm, something that'll give you like something for every day, normalcy, that is going to be your starting point. After that, I use lists for everything. Literally everything. Lists help me in life. I, I need lists. So you can do a list on your phone, computer, or paper. I like to do paper lists. So what I do is, here, I'm gonna actually use one of my lists as an example. So this is one of my little note cards. These are like the note cards you can get at Target or like in the school supply section. They're the big ones. I have the blank with the lines. And what I do on it, so this is my, actually my YouTube schedule for, um, yeah. <laughs> so for you guys, I'm going to use the example of waking up. So you're gonna wanna start this list 
Um, I think writing down helps a lot because you're actually physically doing something and then when you have it like a notes app you can kind of hide that away. So if you want to do it like electronically I'd recommend maybe doing reminders so you can set reminders for it or like use the widget or um, I think Android has this too where you can set it on the home screen. So like set it somewhere where you can see it and you don't like have to go searching through folders to find it. That's why I like writing stuff down because I can just slap it on the wall and I'll always see it. <laughs> so so for waking up so your alarm just went off and now you have to go do stuff but you don't know what to do and it seems like a it seems like a chore to do something so what you're gonna want to do is we're going to should I physically write this list out for you guys maybe that would be fun let me get a piece of paper got my note card I'm gonna write it in sharpie so it'll be easier to see so the first thing you're wanna gonna gonna want to do is just write something easy peasy sque lemon squeezy on your list so it'll feel super easy to check off so let's just say, get out of bed. That is number one. We just got out of bed. Then we can check that out as soon as we get out of bed. After that, what is something else do you do right after? Okay, making the bed is hard. Start super easy, super duper easy. If like you're really down in the slumps, you haven't done anything, like you barely get out of bed just start super duper easy so after you get out of bed we're not gonna make the bed because that's a lot of work so we are going to pull the sheets up so it's not making the bed completely but we're just pulling the sheets up so then we pull the sheets up <laughs> after that just leave the room leave the room bye room I think that will help a lot of people is if you change your scenery. I know some people live in like one bedroom apartments or like a loft or something so you can't really leave your room. But if there's like an area in your room or like in that space that you can move away from the bed, that's good. Because you don't want to always be in the bed. Something that I find helps is save the bed as sleeping space. Don't do activities such as like roaming the computer or like doing homework in the bed because then your safe space gets ruined and it becomes a stressful space so just save the bed I know a lot of people like to do school in bed I would suggest either move to like a different area in your bed like where you're not sleeping like move to the end of your bed and then face the other way that would be better than like sleep staying in the same position that you sleep in because then it'll feel like you don't move the entire day and you're always in the same spot okay so we just did all the pull up the sheets what are you gonna do next go brush your teeth brush teeth bam super duper easy you want to go even further than that like you you have a hard time even brushing your teeth at this point put toothpaste on Brush, rinse. I mean, ideally you would floss, but we're being super duper simple. So now you have all these subcategories on your list. And don't forget to check them off. I love checking stuff off, even if I didn't do them. I didn't even pull up my sheets today. Shh. Well, let's say we brushed your teeth. And you can like do check off subcategories before you even do the, fir the, the the big part. Like I love checking off subcategories so then I can finally do the big part and be like, Argh! satisfaction. And this will like give you instant gratification that um, you can't really receive in normal day life right now. Cause, mm. okay. So that is what I'm trying to explain as list. Just break everything down super duper easy. Put stuff on there where you can like check it off easily. And if it's like a really big project, like for me, I'm cleaning out the house. So I break it up by like rooms and sections in the room. So like if a room has a closet, I'll be like clean the closet, clean the shelves. And then I have the big category of clean the room. So that'll be like all the subcategories, check, check, check. Then once all the subcategories are done, then I can check off the big one. So you got to break stuff down. Be super duper simple. So next, having a really long list or having just a whole bunch of, actually, let me prof let me say this first. Start off with one list. Don't make a whole bunch of lists and have lists lying everywhere or a whole bunch of lists on your phone. Just do one list. If you get through that list, take a break, then do another list. 
but don't have a whole bunch of pre-made lists and be like, I finished this list, now I can move on to my next one. Just stick with the one list. Look at me, just stick with the one list, finish the list, and then you can make another one, okay? Okay. Next, so now you have this list and you have to do these things, but you, it takes a lot of work to even get started doing these things. This is something that I've struggled with for so long because I've always made lists, but then I'd leave the list and never do the list. So you have to find something to motivate you to do that stuff on the list. So my first thing, my first recommendation would be, why are you putting these things on the list? Like, why do you need to do these things? What benefit will it give you? What will you accomplish by doing it? Like, what is the greater goal? What, what will push you to do it? So with this, Brushing your teeth, that's gonna give you good dental hygiene. You won't lose your teeth. Your breath will smell great. Your teeth will look pretty. That would be your motivation to brush your teeth. Getting out of bed. Getting out of bed would get you out of bed. It would give you something to do with the day. It'd give you your whole day. Instead of spending all your day in the bed, you'd actually have something to, do. you'd be able to go do stuff. That's your motivation for getting out of bed. Or maybe there's like a bigger motivation behind getting out of bed, like, hey, I have to go do this. That's why I need to get out of bed. So find a motivation or like a purpose behind each thing on your list. Or if there's like a greater purpose behind everything, like I just want to live. I just want to have a great day. That's the motivation behind this list. Or I want a clean house. Great, congratulations. So that is the first part of uh, finding the oomph to do what's on your list. Second part, now you know why you want to do everything on your list. Now you actually have to do it. What I do personally is I set a timer for myself. So what you want to start off with is like a five minute timer. You can either use like your phone timer. You can use like one of those little egg things. Make it fun. Make it fun. Do something that's going to be like, wow, my alarm went off. How fun. Like put a good song on your alarm. Something, something fun, okay? And then one step, you're going to do your activity, whatever is on your list for five minutes. Then after that five minutes is up, you're going to take a five minute break. You can do anything in that five minute break, but it has to be within that five minute break. So like, go to the bathroom, go get some food, drink some water, or just sit down for a little bit. Then once that five minutes is up, you're gonna do another five minutes of working. And it, once you do that a couple of times and you think, okay, five minutes is too short, I feel like I can focus for longer than that, then you're gonna wanna do 10 minutes with the five minute break. So the work time is going to increase, but your break time is gonna remain the same. And then as you, as you go through that, you'll feel like, oh, 10 minutes is too short. I can do it for longer. Then you're going to want to do 20 minutes. And then it will slowly increase. But start off very, very basic, very simple. Because if you start off with like a time of 30 minutes with only a five-minute break, you're going to be like, this sucks. I don't want to do this. Screw the list. But if you just do five minutes, you're going to think five minutes is super easy. And if you go up by like steady increases, you will you won't feel the difference in time as much. So that is what's worked for me. I know some people, once you have the list, you can just knock it off. Not everybody, okay? Not everybody, it, it, it gets hard. Life is hard. Then when you finish one thing on your list and you get to check it off, don't feel like you need to move on to the next item of your list right away. Take a break, go reward yourself, go get some ice cream. Go, go get a bacon cheeseburger. Get something, I mean, it doesn't have to be food, okay? It doesn't have to be food. But be very careful with what you reward yourself with because I know a lot of the times you'd be like, oh, I did something very basic. I can reward myself with like a, a Cartier ring. Like, be, be simple. Just something that will spark a simple joy in you because you don't want to always expect, you don't want to always expect a reward for doing something. Just something that like you can do in your everyday life that will like give you a break, like take you out of the situation for a second so you can relax, you know? I think some people get mistake, mistook, some people mistake what a reward is and they're like, I need something physical. 
I need something tangible to reward myself. Sometimes all you need is a good old pat on the back just to reward yourself. Okay, I think, I think that is the very basics of how to stay motivated. I don't want to like go too in depth or like scientific because like I'm definitely not an authority on that. This is just what um, professionals in my life and people in my life have told me to help me in my personal situations and like recommendations I've seen given other places. And everything I've given you guys is just specific to what's worked for me and I've been trying to like format it in a way that can be more generalized, if that makes sense. So going through everything I've said, um, so you're gonna want to have something that's gonna create a schedule for your life. Something like an alarm, a TV show, blah, 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 blah. Something that creates structure. Then lists, basic lists, big lists, tiny lists, one point list, something that will give you a reminder of everything you need to do. Then you want to find a motivation behind those points on the list or the list in general. Or like a, 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 what is it called? A purpose for the list. Then do the timers, then the rewards. Okay, so can I go through that very quickly? Structure, list, broken down list, purpose, timer, reward. I think that I think that it will help you on starting your journey into getting motivation. And I mean if I'm totally wrong, you sorry. <laughs> it's worked for me and I I I just want to be helpful, okay? I know this is such an incredibly hard and difficult time. Um I've had to put a lot of stuff in my life on hold and I've had to figure out ways to continue doing what I love in other ways. It, it's just been a hard time for everybody and don't feel alone, you're not alone. I'm here with you, the whole world is here with you, but we can get through this and we can continue to live our lives. The, our lives aren't on hold, it's just a little different. So I hope you guys are all healthy and safe. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know if this helped you guys because that means so much to me. I just, I really want to be helpful and give you guys a little source of light or hope in this difficult time. So thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Love you. Bye.